In this short video we're going to learn about formatting Django HTML templates and also CSS and JavaScript files using the Django HTML package. And I've got that GitHub page open just now, as you can see the title of this package, Django HTML, it's DJ HTML for short here, and what it is, is a Django and Jinja template indenter. So this is going to automatically indent and format your templates in Django and all of the Django template tags and template filters that you've got. And it's going to do that with a consistent style that you can then share among your development team and you can also install this as a pre-commit hook as we're going to see at the end of this video. So let's go down to the readme and we're going to see here what Django HTML does. Now it indents HTML, CSS and JavaScript files that contain Django or Jinja template tags. This is going to work similarly to tools like Black if you're using that in Python and as we just said it's going to interoperate nicely with pre-commit. Now I think I used the word formatting earlier, but what Django HTML is going to do is it's going to fix the indentation of your files. It's not going to format them as such. So what it's going to do is add and remove white space at the beginning of lines, but it's not going to insert new lines or other characters. But the goal of the package, as it says here, is to correctly indent already well-structured templates and not to fix broken ones. Now the reason I'm making a video on this is because I inherited a project in the past where the HTML files were in a very inconsistent format, they were very difficult to read and it was very difficult to add new features and fix things and even identify where things were because the indentation of that file was all over the place. It was very inconsistent. So what I was able to do is use Django HTML, this package here, in order to completely fix all of the templates in my Django project by running a single command that was able to do that automatically and also to use a pre-commit hook. So we're going to dive into that in this video. Let's start with installation. So what we're going to do is copy this pip install command and I'm going to go to VS Code. Now I have a Django project open here and I'm going to paste the pip install command into the Python virtual environment and it's going to install Django HTML. While it's installing, what we have in this Django project is a single view function. And in that view, we've got a list of hard-coded Formula 1 drivers. And we're adding those to the context and we are returning a template called index.html. So let's go to the templates directory and go to the index.html file. So we have nothing really in that file at the moment. It's extending a base template and we have a content block here. And we're going to add some code to that. So it's going to be a page to display those Formula 1 drivers. So let's give it a header one of drivers here and I'm going to add some HTML to this file. So let's do that now. And let's do it in a way that's not very consistent in terms of the indentation. So for example, underneath the drivers part here, I'm going to indent this randomly and add a couple of break tags. And then we're going to add an if statement here and we're going to check for the drivers that we have in the context. And don't forget to end that if statement. So basically the context contains these drivers and we're going to render them out one at a time in a for loop. So let's go back to the template and if we have drivers what we're going to do is we're going to add an unordered list here and we're going to iterate over each driver and we're going to output an li tag for each one of them with the driver's name and the team for which they drive. So that's the if statement and notice again some of the indentation is not correct here but underneath the if statement I'm going to add an else clause and I'm going to tab these both over just to again mess up the indentation here. So we have an else clause, if there are no drivers in the context, we're going to show this paragraph tag here. And actually I already ended the if statement, so we can remove that there. And what I'm going to do at the bottom, just underneath that, is paste some random HTML and some random indentation. So we have a button here, it's within a paragraph tag, and you can see the indentation's all messed up. We also have a div here with some secret message way to the right hand side. And this is actually somewhat similar to what I inherited in that project I mentioned a minute ago. The indentation was just so inconsistent, I've no idea how they achieved that. But we are able to fix this kind of thing using the DJ HTML package. So we've got it installed. How do we actually use the package to fix this index.html file? Let's go back to the GitHub page and we're going to go down to the usage section. And by the way, there's a link to this page in the description of the video. So after installation, we can indent templates using the DJ HTML command. So we can pass the name of a template to that, or we can pass the dot syntax. And what that's going to do is it's going to indent all HTML files that are beneath the current directory. So I'm going to go back to VS Code and let's go to the terminal here. 
And what we're going to do is run DG HTML, which we have now installed in the, in the virtual environment. And to indent all of the HTML files below the current directory, we can pass that dot. And when we run this command, we're going to see that the index file here, this template, has been automatically indented. So let's run this command. And you can see that it has fixed all of the issues that we had here in this template. We have a block here and everything within the block is now tabbed across. And we have the proper indentation, for example, within the template if statement where we have a UL tag, more indentation for the for loop and for the LI tag within that. So it's fixed all of that and it's fixed the crazy indentation that we had at the bottom for this button and for this paragraph tag within the div. So it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but it's very useful if you get a project where the HTML is all over the place. This can fix everything very quickly. Now it turns out it's not just HTML that this can format. So let's go back to GitHub and there are different modes that we can operate in using this package. So the normal HTML mode is what's gonna be invoked by that command that we've been running, but there's also a CSS and a JavaScript mode as well. So the CSS mode is going to look for style tags and what we're going to do in this video is create at the root of this project a static folder. So let's do that just now and within that I'm going to create a new file called styles.css. So this is going to be for writing CSS and what I'm going to do is just paste some CSS in here and I'm going to save this and you can see the indentation again is not correct here. We have a paragraph and the first style for that is right at the same level of indentation as the tag itself and we also have this here which is tabbed to to the right hand side and then for the body they are at the same level of indentation as the body declaration itself so we can fix this with the dj css command so we're going to run that in the terminal now so that's dj css and then we pass the dot when we run this it's going to auto format the above and as well as dj css we also have a similar mode in this package, it's for JavaScript, so you can use that. And whenever a script tag is encountered, it's gonna fix the indentation using the DGJS command. Let's now move on to the pre-commits configuration. So a great way to use this Django HTML package is as a pre-commit hook. And what that means is that all your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files are gonna be automatically indented upon every commit you make to your code base. Now we're going to do a dedicated video on pre-commit hooks very soon on this channel and we're going to dive into not only this package but also Black, Flakeate and Isot and possibly some others as well. And we're going to see how to build a proper pre-commit configuration for a Django project that you want to push into production. But for now let's just stick to the simple example here and what we're going to do is we're going to install pre-commit. So let's open VS Code and we're going to paste the pip install command that's going to install it in into this Python virtual environment. While it's doing that, we can grab the second command here, and that's the pre-commit install command. We're going to run that in the root directory of this project. So let's clear the terminal and run pre-commit install. Now, as it says here, we have an error that's occurred. We actually need to have a git repository initialized in this project. So what I'm going to do here is run git init. That's going to initialize an empty git repository, and then we can run pre-commit install after that. And what that does is it adds this pre commit file to the git directory and in the hooks subdirectory. Now once we've done that let's clear the terminal and we're going to go back to the github page and we're going to copy the code here for this pre-commit config.yaml file. So let's go back to VS Code and we're going to add that file at the project root and remember this is a hidden file it begins with a dot and it's pre-commit-config.yaml. And once we've added that file, we can paste the code that we had from GitHub into the file. And you can see the repository that this is referencing. It's the Django HTML repository from GitHub. And there are three hooks that we're using, one for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, this one here, the revision, that is currently set to main. We need to replace that with the latest tag from the GitHub repository. And there's an easy way to do that with pre-commit. What we can do, and this I think is recommended on this page here, is we can run this command. It's the pre-commit auto update command. So let's paste that into the terminal. And that's given me back an error here. I think that's because I didn't actually save the updated YAML file. So let's now try and run this again. So I'm gonna clear the terminal and we can run auto update. And this time something is happening. And you can see the revision here has been updated to version 3.0.6. And if we go back to the GitHub page for this and we go up to the latest release here, you can see that matches the latest tag in the GitHub repository. So that's now worked and we are ready to use this pre-commit hook for Django HTML. 
So what I'm going to do is go back to VS Code and I'm going to go back to the index.html file and I'm going to replace everything within the content block with what we had at the start of the video, what we pasted in earlier on. So let's do that now and it's going to go back to that unformatted style with the indentation that's not correct. And we're also going to do that for the CSS file. And once that's done, we can go back to the terminal and we're going to add our first commit to this repository. So let's do that just now. If we look at the status of the repo at the moment, basically everything in the directory is untracked. So we can add that to the repo with the git add all command. And what that's gonna do rather than adding it to the repository at the moment is it's going to add it to the staging area. And then we can run git commit and we can pass a first message here of initial commit. Now when we run this, we're gonna see our pre-commit hook is initializing the environment. So that's gonna happen the first time you use the pre-commit hook after you've added it, but it won't happen in subsequent runs, just the first time here. And we're going to resume the video after it's installed. And once that's finished, you can see that we have a failure here during the commit, and that's because the CSS has been modified by the hook. And that is the same if we go up here to the HTML files, this index.html file that we've been working with, that has been re-indented by the pre-commit hook for DJ HTML. So we can see the CSS file has been reformatted and so has the index.html file. So what we're gonna do is clear the terminal. And if we run git status again, you can see that all of the other files are now in the actual commit that we've just created. But we now have two modified files that have been modified by the pre-commit hook, and that's for the HTML and the CSS file. So we can now add those to the staging area, and we can commit those again using the same message here. So I'm gonna add initial commit, and we can execute that. And this time you can see that has successfully completed, and the checks for DJ HTML and DJ CSS have both passed because it has automatically re-indented those files. And now everything is good, everything is ready to be committed, and we can now push this commit to a remote repository. So the benefit of using the pre-commit hook for DJ HTML is that it's gonna check your index.html file or any other Django templates and make sure that the formatting is correct. And if it's not, it's going to auto indent everything for you without you having to worry about it. And then you can then add those changes to the git commit and then push those changes to your GitHub or your GitLab repository where your other developers can get those files in a consistent format and then pull them down and also add new features and whatever else they need to do. So we'll dive more into pre-commit and how it works in later Django projects. But for now, that's all for this video. We've seen the DJ HTML package and how it can be used to auto indent the Django template files that you have in your project in a consistent way. And it also works with CSS JavaScript files as well. Now you may also have heard of packages like Prettier that do this for you as well. And they also work with things like React components and JSON and YAML files. But Prettier doesn't really work well with Django templates. For example, it's not gonna recognize these template if statements and for loops. So in order to get this working well with those, the DJ HTML package is perfect for that. It's gonna indent everything consistently and that gives you something that you can share among your development team to keep everything clean and tidy automatically. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're enjoying this content and you want to support the channel, check out the coffee link that we have in the description of the video. Thanks again and we'll see you in the next video.